Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs. It is officially November, so of course we had to come on down and try the cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse, along with any other monthly specials they may be doing at the Springs. And then a lot of people have been asking me to go to Chicken Guy. I haven't been there since it first opened up, and I figured we'd try some cookies, eat some chicken tenders, and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is November 1st and last night was Halloween. I hope everyone had a happy Halloween and I'm sad to see it go for 2022, but we've got Thanksgiving and Christmas to look forward to. Just because Halloween is over, that doesn't mean the pumpkin season is over because I feel like pumpkins are a part of Thanksgiving in the fall season and that is the cookie of the month at Gideon's. They have a pumpkin cookie and it's new so I'm so excited to try that. I think we're gonna head on over there right now and see if we have to get a virtual queue or the standby line. And then like I said, any other new things they may be doing down at Disney Springs. Looks like there's no virtual queue today and they're doing a standby line and it's probably a 25, maybe 30 minute wait. So we're just gonna hop in. We got ourselves a menu and I have to say, I love the artwork. The boy they called Pumpkin Fist. Isn't that so funny? Just take a look at this artwork. It's so beautiful. I loved it. And look at the gigantic fist. That's why they call him Pumpkin Fist, because he has enormous fist. And they mocked him and made fun of him and casted him out. And uh, the cookie of the month is the pumpkin bread chocolate crumb cookie. That sounds really, really amazing. They also have the peanut butter and the pumpkin chai and also cookies and cream. Uh, and they brought back the French toast nitro cold brew. So might get ourselves a coffee and a cookie. Sounds like a good combination. A little pumpkin chai, a little pumpkin coffee. All right, we have obtained the goods. I ended up getting the pumpkin crumb cookie and it looks remarkable. And also I got a pumpkin chai cold brew because decided to go a little pumpkin pumpkin. And the wait time was only 10 minutes, not too bad at all. And during that wait though, I was able to get some of the results from the auction we had on Whatnot where we raised money for Give Kids the World Village. So I'm gonna go over that later on in the video with you guys. But now it's time to get to the cookie business. All right, and here is a look at the cookie. And I have to say, this is probably one of the best looking cookies I've ever seen at Gideon's. Take a look at this. Holy moly. It's about to fall apart in my hands, but it smells unbelievably amazing. It looks so good. I cannot wait to dive into it. And of course we have to stick to tradition and break the cookie in half, even though it's kind of already falling apart. And I've always stuck to the banana bread, the chocolate chip banana bread being my favorite cookie of all time at Gideon's. I might, I, I, I have a feeling that this actually might be a contender for the number one spot, just by looks alone. I mean, honestly, look at it. I love pumpkin. I love the crumb. Look at this cookie. I'm so excited. So we're gonna, we're gonna break in half here and show you guys a little bit on the inside, but look at it. I can't get over it. Here we go. Oh my Lord. Look at this just falling apart like this. So we're gonna go right on in. Here we go, first bite. I think we have a number one cookie right here. I can't get over how amazing this is, seriously. And the way that it's falling apart, it's not overly pumpkin either. It is such an amazing cookie. I'm telling you, you guys gotta try this one because it, it's blowing my mind right now. Sometimes when it comes to cookies, I feel like you could get one flavor, like a, a majority flavor in a cookie. Like, you know what I mean? If you get a chocolate chip, it's too much chocolate, not enough cookie. But this is like the perfect blend. Like, it's not overly pumpkin. It's not overly chocolate. It is just so simple. It is, it's, it's amazing. It really is such a great cookie. And I don't know if they're normally this soft. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm eating like pumpkin pie filling. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's normally this soft or if we just got like a fresh batch of cookies because it's like falling apart. And I guess that's the way a cookie crumbles. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. And if you want to hit it with the one-two punch, then you got to get the pumpkin chai cold brew and the pumpkin cookie because the combination, like mixing these two together is like a whole new experience. 
let me know in the comments what your all-time favorite cookie from Gideon's is. Like I said, for the longest time, it was that chocolate chip banana bread for me, but this takes the cake. <laughs> this takes the cookie. This is my new number one. And like I said, the combination between these two, it's like a whole new experience. So make sure you guys let me know. All right, enough of the cookie business. Let's go explore around the springs a little bit. I already got Gracie her cupcakes thanks to some friends, and I can't wait to give her one a little bit later on. Also, I wanted to point out, yesterday was Gracie's birthday, October 31st, which we celebrate her birthday on Halloween. And uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, uh, it's paging Mr. Morrow. I was actually posting stories celebrating with her. Got her her pup cup or pup her pup cup in the morning, and then I also got her a little cupcake and a little candle. But she was afraid of the fire. But uh, yeah, you guys follow me on Instagram, paging Mr. Morrow. I post a lot of cool stuff on there. And now, like I said, let's go explore around. We got her pup cake. We'll give it to her a little bit later on. We're gonna make our way back down to the front of the park, but I wanted to point out looks like they started putting up some of the Christmas decorations already down here. You know, for the longest time, uh, Disney used to be known for switching over from like Halloween to Christmas overnight, and they don't do it as much as they used to. Like they'll add some little things, like some decorations, but in the past, they used to do a total like complete 360 from Halloween straight to Christmas. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see all the Christmas trees that go up eventually, but here's all I see so far before we make our way to chicken guy to get some chicken tendies I wanted to hop in the coke store because I hear the polar bear is back doing meet and greets and I love coming to meet the polar bear and you can actually use your Disney photo pass or your memory maker with it so you can get free photos if you have that option on your pass and it's cool that he's back plus I haven't been in the coke store in a while there's a lot of people that don't even know you can actually meet the Coca-Cola bear. And you can go to the very top up here, and it's so beautiful up there. So might as well just uh, show you around a bit. Oh, look, you can see the balloon from Disney Springs reflecting in the glass. That's very majestic. You can also buy a lot of Coca-Cola merchandise in here, too. And they have a lot of stuff that you can't get anywhere else in the world. Most of this stuff is the Coca-Cola Walt Disney World collection. And look at this one with the polar bear, actually with a Coca-Cola Walt Disney World hoodie on. That's kind of cool. And then we also have some pins and it has Mickey, a lot of hidden Mickey, some tumblers, some shorts. Very cool stuff. So if you're a fan of Disney and Coke, both of them have a big following. You kind of got uh, the perfect combination here. Oh, look at even this one's actually a really cool shirt. Very simple, very nice. The polar bear experience is on the second floor. I don't know if he has a name or if we just call him the Coke, the Coca-Cola polar bear. I mean, does he have a name? We should ask him. And here it is, meet polar bear. So I guess his name is just polar bear. And it's got a nice little entryway here. I don't think he's here right now. I think he's out on break. So we're gonna wait a second. But also, look at the Fanta spirit jersey. Look at that. Fanta, don't you wanna? Fanta, Fanta. Right now I'm standing here looking like the polar bear's biggest fan. I mean, he's obviously taking a nap and I'm the only one that's like just standing here waiting. I've been waiting for, I think 15 minutes now. I'm a die hard polar bear fan. I'll wait hours. Come here, bear. Oh, look at this, what a greeting. Hi, bear. <laughs> Are you having a good day? Yes? Oh, very nice. Happy to see you back. Oh yeah, I'll follow you. Follow you into the bear cave. <laughs> Best day ever. Look at this. I know you're a special spot. Very cool. Hello. Hi, how are you? All right, Barry, you ready? Ready? A big moment. This is it. <laughs> I'm coming in. <laughs> We're gonna do a little photo. <laughs> very, very paw-like. Paw-like? Yeah. Aww. Now, is your name Bear or is it Polar Bear or Coca-Cola Bear? Or we just call you Bear? Bear. I like it. Yeah, I like it. All of them. Well, that's very awesome. Can we do a photo? Yeah, I'm all about it. It's not really often you get to take a photo with a polar bear. Or the bear. Hey! He's putting on hats. Oh, I got you, I got you. Look at this! He wants to rock the Wait, bear. he's ro oh my lord. Oh, okay, this, I, is, I, this is, this is epic. This for the Bears collection. He Paging loves, Mr. Bear. look at this, Paging Mr. Bear right yes. here. 
That is the best thing ever. Bear loves trying on people's hats. He has a whole collab of different <laughs> hats he's worn. Wow. That is the, wow, I'm honored. Thank you so much. It's a wow. Yes, it's a, oh, I, I, I bow to you. I bow to the bear. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, here, we'll bring it in. A big bear hug. Nice. <laughs> the best. Thank you. <laughs> Once you actually get out, you uh, have all your photos here and they'll give you different backgrounds and then here are the prices. Look at, that's really awesome. You get tons of different backgrounds. I like them all. That was absolutely amazing. Bear was so incredibly cool. I loved it so much and he took my hat. I felt very honored. I really, that's such a great me and great and it's such a gem. It's free. Uh, you have to pay for the pictures. I did find out that they switched to companies. So now it's not included with the memory maker, uh, but also that's also changed differently too, but still very cool. A really awesome, like you didn't feel rushed or anything like that. Definitely an awesome experience whenever you come to Disney Springs. Now, it's time for some chicken tenders. And here we are, chicken guy. I'm gonna take a look at the menu. I know I'm getting the tenders, but I don't know what else I might be getting. They got everything on here. Three tenders for $5.99. That's such a great deal. Like a, a very affordable meal, actually down at Disney Springs. Five tenders for $7.99. This is cheaper than Chick-fil-A. Like 100% cheaper than Chick-fil-A. And then of course, like everyone always talks about the signature sauces. They have 22 different sauces. And I'm sure we'll try a couple of them, but not too much. I'm not the biggest sauce guy. I like my chicken tenders plain. And uh, they have French fries and salads and a little bit of everything. I placed my order of EIA, the mobile ordering app, and I ended up getting a little bit of fried tenders and grilled tenders and also some french fries. And look at that, lots of seasoning. That is the way. It's kind of hypnotizing. Ooh, toss those french fries. I really can't get over how affordable that is. Like, I got a whole meal for $13. Like I said, that's cheaper than most fast food restaurants like outside of Disney, let alone being a restaurant in Disney Springs. And it looks so good. And like I said, I've been here once before and I think I kind of liked it. Like I, I thought they were good, but I remember the overall price being like the big budget, like the big thing for me. Like I, affordability was like huge and uh, it's gonna be nice to have a little refresher. Here is my whole entire meal. I got a french fry and then I got the three tenders plus I added one tender. So I got a little two grilled, two fried and then I've got the donkey sauce and I got the brown sugar barbecue. So uh, I'm gonna dive in. I think I'm gonna start off with the grilled chicken ones. Look it, comes on a little skewer. Also, I just spontaneously decided that uh, before we were talking about the Christmas decorations, uh, I decided that maybe after this, let's head to Magic Kingdom. And I know they put out some Christmas decorations, but because it's getting dark out, I wanna see if the lights are on. So if Main Street lights up a little bit, the Christmas tree is not out and it's not even like 25% decked out for the holidays yet, but I would still like to see a little light. So after this, after these chicken tenders, we're going to the Magic Kingdom and I'm gonna dive in try the barbecue a little grilled chicken mm. the grilled chickens good this one's a little bit dry but I like the seasoning on there I feel like if I would have gotten maybe a fresher batch they might be a little bit better I mean they're still delicious though I mean I'm not knocking it like I said it's gonna be hard for me to be critical when I just paid $13 for a really good meal at Disney, you know what I mean? But it's not too bad. Now I wanna try the fried ones though. The fried tenders definitely look a little bit more promising. Yeah, and they're very hot, I can feel it. So we'll see if they got like a little crunch to them, you know? Well, fine, I'll take this side. Yeah, that is a good tender right there. Very good. Honestly, like I said, you, you can't be crucial. It's very delicious. I would get this again and again and again, especially if I was here on vacation. I probably would go to Chicken Guy every day like, to save up my money, so very cool. I'm not the biggest fan of the donkey sauce though, I gotta say. I <laughs> didn't like that much, but now we're gonna try the french fries. Fries are good. They definitely season everything in here though. Like they season everything with the same seasoning, I feel like. Season on the chicken, season on the french fries. Sure they season the pickles, I season everything, but I like it. 
it's a good season. I guess you can say it's tis the season, and now it's time to make our way over to Magic Kingdom. But I did like the chicken tenders. Definitely a really affordable meal whenever you come on vacation, and uh, I would highly get them again. Highly recommend them. And just like that, we went from cookies at Disney Springs to the first Christmas lights of the year. I'm so excited. Look at this. Everything is just looking so magical already. And like I said, it's not 100% decked out for the holidays, but things are all lit up a little bit. We've got wreaths and who knows? We'll probably see a lot more decoration. Just no trees yet. No big Christmas trees. Right now the sun is starting to set so we have this golden hour happening and it is so beautiful. All the lights are just turning on. This is the most magical time of the day to come and I'm just so happy to be here. I'm actually getting a little, little emotional now because I'm very excited for the holiday season. You guys don't know, I am a big sap for the, the holiday season. I mean, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, it really hits me. It hits me right in the heart, you know? And look at how beautiful this is. The Christmas lights, the castle looks so different because it's not lit up yet. But look at this. Oh, all I could go for is some snope right now. I'd love some snope and maybe some holiday music. We're almost there. I think the first party is just this week or next week. The first uh, Mickey's Very Merriest Christmas party is literally next week. It's really such an awesome thing that we can be so spontaneous like this. One second, be hanging out at Disney Springs and then be like, hey, let's go check out the Christmas lights at Magic Kingdom. And it's really cool that I get to share it with you guys. Now, I also want to see if they have any Christmas merchandise out. Maybe ride some rides and just kind of enjoy a little Magic Kingdom night. I feel like we're doing two videos in one day, you know what I mean? As soon as you walk in though, you can see, make it merry and bright. Look at Goofy right there. Wow, I love the goof. So a lot of Christmas stuff, but this is only a little bit. There's gonna be putting out a lot more Christmas stuff as we get closer to the holiday season. And it's a little bit uh, chaotic in here. A little bit uh, very busy. I was gonna show you guys some of the merchandise, but it's hard to kind of navigate through here. Oh, but I do like this though. That is very fancy. I wanted to show you guys like some of the merchandise in there, but it is very chaotic at the moment. There's people running around grabbing stuff. It's very packed in there. So I think maybe later we'll check back on it. Now, like I said, I kind of want to enjoy the park a little bit. So we're going to bypass Main Street USA, go around everything and probably make our way over to Tomorrowland. It's kind of nice when they have the side streets opened up. This is usually used to actually like control the crowds uh, when they're exiting the park, but you can actually enter this way too. So we're gonna be able to skip all the people waiting for the fireworks and just make our way over into Tomorrowland. I think we're gonna try to make our way over to Frontierland and ride either Splash Mountain or Big Thunder Mountain. See whatever one has the shortest wait, and because the fireworks are about to begin, that's the best time to go ride rides because most people are actually waiting for the show, and we're gonna take advantage of that. Looks like Big Thunder Mountain is a walk-on. It says a 20 minute wait, but there's nobody on that top part there. So that's basically a walk-on. And Splash Mountain says 30 minutes? 35. So 35. We'll see if it's really 35 though. Folks, and welcome to Splash Mountain. While waiting in line, we ask that you keep up with the party in front of you at all times, filling in all of the available space. Splash Mountain is basically a walk-on. It says 35 minutes, but we are literally just walking the whole entire queue. Probably takes us like 10 minutes with all the zigzags, but uh, there's nobody in line. Everyone's watching the fireworks, and we're going to get wet. Last chance to exit, and I think we're actually going to be able to ride this during the fireworks, and we're going to be able to see the fireworks as we go over the hill. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever rode this during the fireworks, so it's going to be fun. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh, awesome, Kristen and Sean right. are here. I'm excited. Very the Kingdom nice. crew is here, and we're going on uh, Splash Mountain. <laughs> Yay. Have we did you forget? Together? We yes. have. Oh, yes, we did. We have. Many we times. have. Okay. We, we have. Pop up anytime. I've rode with Papa many a time. <laughs> Look at that water there. You guys can hear the fireworks popping off right now. Hey! Don't lose that hat. I won't. Nice and secured on. Where's the fireworks? Where are the fireworks? We can't see them. We're not high up yet. Oh, they're back there. They're back there. They're on that tree. Look, there they are. 
how I see them. Oh my lord! Oh, this is beautiful. I want to open my mouth. at your own risk, danger, go back. Watch out, beware. How much did you pay for the animatronic? No, Red Fox, let me go! Came down right at the, the, the evil part. Oh my board. <laughs> It'd be funny if we stopped right here. <laughs> Just stay here. Splash Mountain was so awesome with the fireworks going. I, I don't think I've ever done that. I rode Big Thunder Mountain with the lights, uh, the fireworks going, but that was great. I really loved it. And even sitting where you load and just watching the fireworks there, I feel like that's like prime viewing area. Like, you know what I mean? Time that out so if you guys have never done it before, I highly suggest you trying it. And now we're going to keep moving along. Since we came here to actually see all the Christmas decorations, might as well take a pit stop into the ye old Christmas shop. I love the smell in here. Isn't it great? Right? It smells like Christmas. I want this at my house. <laughs> Look at this. You got little uh, Christmas trees. Since the Christmas tree isn't here yet in Magic Kingdom, you can light it up here. Look at it. Very fancy. I wonder how much these are actually. $39.99? Holy moly! <laughs> There's a Marius Wishes 2022. Lots of stuff already. Now, I think this stuff was all here though, prior than uh, right now. Oh, but they do have those musical nutcrackers back there and they're kind of catching my eye. Look at how cool this is. It caught my eye from across the room, but it's, it's a Small World musical nutcrackers. 
I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of It's a Small World, but when it comes to like cool, nostalgic Disney history items, I mean, this is top of the line right here. Hundred dollars for this, and I love it. I don't know if it actually makes music though. That's my only. I'm, I'm kind of worried because I don't see like a try me button. Like you know, these have the try me, but nothing for this, and I don't hear any noise. But that is so cool. Here are a couple more shots of all the Christmas lights. And I'm kind of sad to announce that we're not getting the dream lights this year. So uh, Cinderella Castle isn't going to have those nice icicle lights on them. They're going to have projections, but I want the dream lights. I mean, that was one of, one of the most magical things when you actually walk down Main Street USA during the holidays and you've seen that all lit up. Oh, you can see the projections like on my hand right here. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I want it on my face. I'm castle projecting on my face now. Look at this. Whoop. I'm bald. It's kind of a humid day today, so I made my way back on out to the front of the park, and I'm thinking about going into Casey's and getting a mint julep. Nice, refreshing mint julep. I love them, and they're a good way to kind of rehydrate. It's so delicious, it's so refreshing. Hey, friend. Look at this, mobile ordering is down at the moment. It's like the olden days. Like the, olden days. Like the 1700s. Honestly, I think mobile ordering is one of the best things that they actually came up with. And it's one thing I really hope it stays and never goes away. Because who likes this right now? I mean, this is what it was like, but even worse. This is nothing. I remember sometimes you can't even walk in here. You couldn't get into Casey's. Corner. You couldn't even get into Casey's, yeah. You can't even put a dog into Casey's. Corner. You can't even get a dog at Casey's. Oh, we're going over here. Oh, look at this. We got the, ooh, well, thank you. <laughs> A nice little mint julep in the hub grass. That is a way. So refreshing. I like the regular mint julep, though. The mint julep at New Orleans Square in Disneyland. Is that cutie for me, cutie? This cutie's for this cutie. <laughs> <laughs> Mint juleps and corn dog nuggets and the hub grass. Couldn't ask for a better thing. And look at that. Isn't she a butte, Clark? Oh. <laughs> this is so scary. Ready. Oh, no, why did it just automatically zoom in? How do I unzoom? How do I unzoom? Are we putting our hands on our cheeks? Yes, but wait. It just automatically zoomed in. Feet up, too. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> All right, ready. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of the hub grass. I think we're uh, ready to head on home. Go see Gracie Girl, and I'll show you giving her her pup cake. And then also we can talk about the uh, Give Kids a World auction results. You want a treat? <gasps> Here you go. Oh. oh, she gone. She takes it and leaves. And with that, we are done here today. What a great day today was. Started at Disney Springs, ended up at the Magic Kingdom. Gracie got a pup cake. All is well in the world. And uh, like I said before, I wanted to let you guys know about the Give Kids the World auction we did with Whatnot. And uh, I want to say a big thank you. Thank you to you guys. This is something so amazing. Uh, between all the live streams, we've raised uh, just around $27,000, $28,000. Dollars. That's insane, isn't it? And also all of the other uh, auctions that I did with Give Kids the World themselves. So we're just sitting around $30,000. And that is so amazing. Like I auctioned off a lunch with me and that sold for a lot of money. And I'm just so happy to be a part of it and being able to do something good. We made a lot of wishes come true. And because of that, we're gonna have our own sponsored area at a night of a million lights at Give Kids the World. Give Kids the World Village wanted to uh, kind of give a little back and uh, they decided to have a 
paging Mr. Morrow, uh, paging Mr. Morrow sponsored area, and I'm very humbled. Like that is so great. Even though what we were able to accomplish for them is a much greater task, I honestly feel like it's probably the greatest thing that I've ever been a part of. So I want to say thank you to you guys because I couldn't do it without you. Whether or not you were just in the live stream or you shared out the live stream or you bid it on items, it's all amazing, and uh, we're gonna keep doing it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.